Okay, let's have a look at the word Earth in Descript now. Okay, uh, one quick combination we really should look at first is the TH, if you haven't already seen it, like this. T plus H equals TH. It can be done with a single stroke. Okay, now let's have a look at the simplest possible combination of the letters. E, A, R, T, H. Okay, this is the word Earth in its most, most basic Descript form. Was kind of nice. We got a little thing that might be a planet up here, just because it's circle. Now if we're dealing with the e. We got a circle here, especially because it starts the word. We'll look at that later. That is great. Okay, let's look at the double combinations. First of all, e a. We can smooth this up and turn it into a single stroke, like so. E a r. We can add it to the to the right side connection point, reducing another stroke, and then the th has to be separated, of course. So there we can do Earth only lifting the pen a single time between the r and the th. Now let's go for some nice aesthetic stuff here. Um, we're going to look at how letters build inside of other letters in Descript. This is great because you can, in certain letters, such as the E, O, or U, you can build inside of the letter, even the P. Anything where you've got an enclosed space, you can just build right on inside, as long as it's not anything that becomes ambiguous with previous combinations. So, the E, we've got a circle, we can build it all into the circle, or try to anyways, and then we've got something that's conveniently shaped like a planet. So, E. Now, if we want to put an A inside of an E, how do we do that? One way is like this. As you can see, we've got an A inside of an E. Uh, this way is usually when you just need the E A, and then you can continue on down here. Sometimes you can add a little something here, but this version is used when you just use E A and then continue on to the word. When you want to add more than one letter into the word, we usually use inside of the E. I mean, we usually use this version. As you can see, there's a lot of room here to work with, a lot of room here to work with. So it's very easy to continue on a word inside of the letter now. Okay, so here's E, A. Now there's two things we could do. We could then continue the R separate here. Remember, this space, it can't touch the edges. As soon as things start touching the edges, they could be something connected to the this letter, or they could affect what that letter is. So it has to stay in the white space, not touch the edge. Okay, here's another way we can add the R. Directly onto the A line, as you see. And then what can we do with the TH? Well, we could put it in here. Uh, T, T, uh, T, sorry, H and D are both long horizontal line letters. When they're inside of letters, they can also protrude all the way out for aesthetic purposes. And in fact, it's better to do it that way often because it makes it clear that it's a D or H. What distinguishes a D or an H is the fact that they're a bar extending all the way to the far reaches of the writing space. So, let's try to draw a nice earth. Not very round, but... Earth. Now, you can play with it yourself, try some different versions and see what you can do, but uh, as you can see, uh, Descript is very flexible. The beauty of Descript is you create your own visual meaning into the letter. It's not there to begin with. None of these letters sh represent Earth in any way, but you put them together and find a way to visually represent your meaning. The logographic meaning is created by the user, not intrinsically there.